All right, so on this one, what we're asked to do are to, uh, to figure out, um, you know, between our original polynomial, x cubed minus 27, and then our divisor is x plus 3, figure out what the missing pieces of our uh, quotient and remainder are by using long division. So uh, for p of x and d of x, well, p of x is our polynomial. That's the stuff that goes inside the house. d of x is the stuff that goes on the outside, okay? The quotient is the stuff that goes on the top. And the remainder is what you get at the very bottom. So for here, to do long division, we got to remember a couple of things. When we set up our long division, right? Remember, x plus 3 is our divisor. That's what goes on the outside here. But the x cubed minus 27, we're missing some pieces. In long division, it would not be a bad idea to get to the habit of filling in those missing pieces. So what I mean by missing pieces, we don't see an x squared term. We don't see an x term. So numerically, that would be a 0x squared plus 0x. In other words, when we fill it in, that would be an x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 27. Okay? And now we do the long division just like we did before. What times x gives me? x to the third. Well, that would be x squared. So x squared times x, well that gets me x cubed, and then these two guys multiply together, positive 3x squared. Yet again, change your signs, and then combine like terms. Well the x cubed minus x cubed goes away. 0 minus 3, well that gets you a minus. 3x squared. And then bring down your x term, just like we did on the last problem. Okay? Now we repeat the process. What times x gets me a negative 3x squared? Well, that should be a negative 3x. So that'll be a minus 3x on the top. And then multiply. Negative 3x by x. Well, that should be a negative 3x squared. And then a negative 3x times a positive 3. Well, that should give you a negative 9x. Change your signs. Start adding and subtract. Negative 3x squared minus 3x squared. I'm sorry. Negative 3x squared plus 3x squared. Those two should cancel out. Now here, 0 plus 9, well that should give you a 9x. And then we drop down the last term. Last but not least, what times x gets me a 9x? Well, it should be a positive 9. All right. So now, 9 times x, well that gets me a 9x. A 9 times a 3, that should give you a positive 27. Same process as earlier. Change your signs. Change your signs. So your 9x's cancel out. And here you have a negative 27 minus 27. Well, that should get you a minus 54. So now to fill in the missing pieces, the quotient, the stuff that's on the top of the long division, well, that will go inside the parentheses right here. So that would be x squared minus 3x plus 9. And the remainder is what goes in this little uh, blank spot right here. So we have minus 54. Okay, because we already have a minus sign right there. So minus 54. Okay. Now, the reason why we do this is because... And if you wanted to FOIL these two guys out and then subtract 54, to check your answer, that's how we do it. It's always the divisor times the quotient plus your remainder. All right? See, if we, were to do, uh, if we were to do this using traditional division like we did back in elementary school, well, let's see. How many times does 3 go into 8? Okay. Well, 3 can go into 8 two times evenly before you start going above 8. So it'll be 3 goes into 8 two times, 
3 times 2 gets me a 6. Change your sign. And then subtract. 8 minus 6 would be 2. Now, to double check yourself, we took our divisor times your quotient plus your remainder. 8 equals, the stuff on the inside, equals 3 times 2 plus 2. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 gets you an 8. Same exact thing right over here. The divisor times your quotient. Add your remainder, the flush your remainder. Okay. Like I said, it's long division of polynomials is the same thing we did back in elementary school. Except in elementary school, we didn't have number. Or I'm sorry, we didn't have letters. Here we're dealing with letters. Makes it a little bit more complicated, but it's still essentially the same process.